Hi everyone, welcome to another video. It's Femi Lanyon here and in this video, I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Binance Futures Calculator. Now, this video is going to be a complete guide for you whether you're a beginner in futures or whether you're new to the futures calculator on Binance. Now, before I go into how to use the Binance Futures Calculator, let me tell you what the Binance Futures Calculator is mainly used for. Now, the Binance Futures Calculator is a tool on the futures page that allows you to calculate for some different outcomes before or after you take your trade. As you can see on the screen, it can be used to calculate your PNL, which is your profit and loss. It can be used to calculate your target price, that is where you take profit. It can also be used to calculate your liquidation price. It can also be used to calculate your max open, that is the maximum amount of money you can use to open a trade. And also it can be used to calculate your open price. Open price means the average price for different positions. Now, I'll be explaining all of this to you in this video, so you don't need to panic. I will be breaking down how you can use the futures calculator to calculate all of this. Well, if I go into that, if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Femi Lanio and I make videos on personal finance, cryptocurrencies, the stock market and how to make money online. So if you love content like this, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Now, how do you get the futures calculator to pop up on your screen on the futures page? Now, if you are using a laptop to trade, if you want to get to the futures page, you come here to where you have derivatives and you tap on USDSM futures. Now, once you're on the futures page, you come here to where you have this calculator icon at the top right corner of the screen. So once you tap on it, the futures calculator will pop up on the screen. So this is the futures calculator right here. But if you're using your phone to trade and you want to get to the futures calculator, you come here to where you have futures, where the arrow is pointing to, and you tap on it. Once you tap on it, you go to the top right corner of the screen where you have the plus slash equal to sign, and tap on it. Once you tap on it, it will take you to the futures calculator page as you can see on the screen. So now to how to use the Binance Futures Calculator. Now if you want to calculate for your PNL, don't forget your PNL is your profit and loss. So let's say for example, you want to calculate the profit you make if you take a trade maybe at a particular entry price and you take your profit at a particular exit price. If you want to calculate the profit, this is what you have to do. First, you have to select whether you are longing or shorting. So let's pick long, for example. And the next thing is to select your leverage. So whether you want to select 20x, 30x, 50x, or whatever leverage you want to select, you pick right here. So I'll be using 20x for this video. And then right here, you enter your entry price. So let's, for example, you want to enter this trade at 18,900. So that you want to enter this trade. Remember, we are doing BTC USDT perpetual. So let's say you want to enter this trade at 18,900. Then your exit price means where you want to take your profit. So let's say you want to take your profit at 19,500 USDT. And then right here, you enter the quantity of USDT you want to use to trade. So the quantity right here is your leverage times your cost. Your cost is the amount of money you are dropping. In case you don't know about all of these things, you can watch my video on how to do futures trading on Binance. The link to that video will be in the description below. So your quantity, like I said, is your leverage multiplied by your cost. So our leverage is 20 right here. So let's say I want to drop, let's say I want to drop like $100 as the cost. So 20 times 100 is 2000 USDT. So your quantity right here is 2000 USDT. So that's how you calculate your quantity. So once you've entered these three details, you come here and tap on calculate. Now at the right side here, you'll be seeing the results. So you can see your initial margin is 99 USDT. Initial margin is also the cost. So remember I said the quantity is equal to leverage times cost. So this cost is almost 100 USDT. So that's 100 times 20. That's 2000 USDT for your quantity. So let me come back here. So initial margin is 99.23 USDT and the PNL is 63 USDT. So that means your profit will be 63 USDT while your ROE is 63%. So that means for this trade, if you take this trade, you'll be making 63% profit and the amount of profit you'll be making is 63 USDT. So let's say for example, you don't want to long, but you want to short. You can just come back here and tap on short right here. Once you tap on short, you change the details that are here. So let's still use um, 20X leverage. So for the entry price, let's leave it at the same entry price. Let's say we are entering at 18,900 USDT. For exit price, remember we are shorting, so the exit price will be lower. 
so let's pick um 18,000 let's say 18,200 usdt as the exit price that's why i want to take a profit let's leave the quantity as 2000 usdt and let's tap on calculate so once you tap on calculate you come here initial margin is still 99 usdt but your profit will be 73 usdt so since you are shorting you'll be making 73 usdt and your hourly is 74 percent so this is the first way you can use the futures calculator you can just calculate the profit or loss you are going to make for a particular trade so if you see that you are good with this then you cannot go on to take your trade now that's for pnl the next one is your target price target price is just like your take profit where you are going to take your profit so let's say for example you have in mind to make a particular percentage but you don't know where to take your profit you can use the features calculator to calculate that so the first thing is to pick whether you want to long or you want to short and then the next thing is to pick your leverage so let's still use 20x again or let's change it to 30x so that we'll not just be using the same um let's use 30x this time and then the entry price let's leave it at um 18,900. so entry price that's where you want to enter the trade and then the ROE, so how many how much percentage do you want to make for this trade? So let's for example you have in mind to make let's say 20% profit for this trade. And then just come here and tap on calculate. Now once you tap on calculate, you'll be seeing your target price. So you can see that if you have a target in your mind, if you have a profit you want to make in your mind and you don't know where to take your profit, you can use the futures calculator to do that. Also, the same way, let's say you are shorting, just come here again and tap on short and you can pick your leverage so let's still pick 30x leverage and then your entry price let's pick um 18,900 again and let's say the roe is um let's say you want to make 20 percent again just tap on calculate right here so you can see calculate so since we are shorting the take profit will be lower so you can see target price is 18,774 usdt so this is your target price if you want to make 20 percent while you are shorting so this is how you can use the features calculator to calculate for your target price. Now before I move to the liquidation price, if you are learning something from this video, let me know in the comment section of this video. Just drop a comment, let me know you are learning something in this video. Now the next thing is to calculate your liquidation price. How do you use the features calculator to calculate your liquidation price? Now the first thing right here is to pick your margin. So if you tap one where you have cross right here, You'll be seeing two options cross or isolated now this cross or isolated margins they have different use cases which i have explained in my futures trading video so again if you have not watched that video the link will be in the description below and also i'll be making a dedicated video to fully explain the difference between cross margin and isolated margin so if you want to watch that video or you want to know when the video will be out turn on the notification bell on my youtube channel so you'll be the first to know when the video is out so for this video i'm going to be picking isolated margin so i'll be picking isolated margin right here and the next thing right here is to pick whether one way mode or edge mode also i'll be making a video about this one way mode or edge mode but for me i prefer to use one way mode so you can use one way mode for this video also if you want to learn the difference between one way mode and edge mode i'll also drop a video about that so make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can know when these videos are out i don't want to be explaining these things in this video so that it's not make the video too long so if you want to know the difference between isolated and cross margin or one way mode and edge mode i'll be dropping videos about those things later so once you've selected your margin and your mode the next thing is to come here and pick whether you want to long or short so let's start with long and once you pick long the next thing is to select your leverage so for this leverage let's leave it at 20x again and right here you enter your entry price where you want to enter the trade so let's say you want to enter the trade at 18,900 usdt so for quantity let's pick 4,000 um, usd for quantity and also balance that means balance means the balance you have in your wallet so let's enter let's say we have 200 dollars in our balance now once you enter all of these details you come here and tap on calculate now once you tap on calculate you'll be seeing your liquidation price right here so that means if you take this trade and the price should go down to 18,024 usdt you're going to lose all your money that is the meaning you'll be losing all the money you're using for this trade and if you have been doing futures trading for a while you already know the meaning of liquidation price so this is how you can calculate your liquidation price for long so let's say you want to short you just come here and tap on short and then you um, let's leave the leverage at 20x entry price let's leave the entry price to add the same thing 
the quantity price let's leave it let's leave all the details are the same and let's tap on calculate so right here you'll be seeing your liquidation price so if you should go up to 19,768 usdt you'll be losing all your money so you can see that the futures calculator also helps you to know the liquidation price where you need to avoid so as not to lose your money now the next one is max open now before we start max open please if you have not liked this video kindly like this video so that more people can be able to see this video and don't forget to subscribe now to max open max open basically is it means that the maximum amount of money you can use to open a trade or to trade on binance futures now to calculate that you come here and select whether you are longing or shorting so let's start with long again and then the leverage let's move the leverage to let's say 30x leverage and also the entry price so let's say for example we want to enter the um trade at uh, let's put it at nineteen thousand dollars right now let's change it from eighteen nine to nineteen thousand so and then your balance right here so let's say for example you have like 200 um usdt or 200 then you tap on calculate and right here you'll be seeing the amount of usdt you can use to open this trade so the maximum amount you can use to open this trade is six thousand usdt six thousand dollars please that does not mean that you are the one that will drop the six thousand dollars no the amount you are dropping is just 200 usdt you need to take note of that you're only dropping 200 usdt but this amount is calculated by your balance multiplied by your leverage so that's 30 times 200 so that gives us this six thousand usdt that's the meaning so take note remember leverage allows you to use more money to trade so because we are using higher leverage that is why we're having this max open at six thousand usdt if i change this leverage to 10x let's say uh you want to change it to 10x 10x times 200 with two thousand dollars so if i tap on calculate right here you see it has changed it two thousand usdt so that's how you can calculate for max open and it's also the same if you want to short so there's no difference in whether you're longing or shorting now the last one is open price how to calculate the open price now this open price is used if you are taking different positions that if you are, we are taking trades so this is going to help you calculate the average price for all the different positions now let me explain what i'm saying so let's say for example you want to long right here you pick long and then the next thing is to enter the different positions you have entered or that you want to enter so for the first one so let's say for example you enter this trade at eighteen thousand nine hundred. And then the quantity of usdt you use is let's say 2000 usdt then you come below and you enter for number two again for the second trade so let's say the second trade you entered at 18700 usdt for example and then um quantity you use for this one let's say you use like maybe um 1000 usdt then you come here and add another one so let's say you did three positions Let, let's just do three so let's say the third one you entered at 19000 usdt and then you use like let's say um 2000 usdt again so once you've entered the three positions then tap on calculate so this calculate is showing that the average price that you entered the three positions is 18,899 usdt that's the average price you used in entering these three positions that's basically what the open price can help you to calculate and also what this helps you to know is that if this price doesn't go below 18,899, you are good and you are in profit. But if it goes below this average price, you are in loss. So that is what you need to know. So this is how to use the futures calculator to calculate the PNL, target price, liquidation price, max open and open price. The Binance Futures Calculator is a very good tool to use when you are trading. I always advise people to use it when you are trading. So if you have any question about this, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you want to watch my video on how to do futures trading on Binance, you can watch the video that is popping up right now. Or if you want to watch how to short crypto on the Binance Futures page, you can watch the video below it. Thank you for watching this video. Bye guys.